Sunday, June 14th. Um, I had surgery on Friday, uh, Friday afternoon, to get my catheter out in my abd abdomen for the peritoneal dialysis, get that out, and put the um, chemo catheter back in. And you see it's just, it's just, well, they have them taped together, but it's just a couple of tubes that go into my vein. You can see it up right there. And one is, basically one is input, input and one is output. So like blood goes in, blood goes out, basically. Uh, the surgery went fine. Um, I have a bandage down on my abdomen where the PD, uh, peritoneal dialysis catheter was. And um, it doesn't cause me much pain. This is mostly what's causing me some discomfort. And I'm kind of sore inside where the other catheter used to be. I'm kinda, I kind of feel that when my pain meds wear off. Um, but um, I'm feeling a whole lot better. Um, Friday morning I woke up with just horrible, horrible abdominal pain and there was no relief. My mom gave me uh, half a Vicodin and uh, an ice pack and it seemed to dull it a little bit and I was able to sleep a little bit. But then I had to go to get surgery and so I couldn't stay asleep very long. So I went there and they got me into the pre-op room where you have to put on a gown, take off all your clothes and your underwear, and um, you talk to the surgeon, they come in to see you, talk to the anesthesiologist, they make sure you're not pregnant. During all of that, they were giving, they had given me some pain medication because my abdomen was just, I was in so much pain. And it dulled enough that I was able to straighten out, because um, before I couldn't even stand up straight because it was just so painful. Um, it was really sharp sharp pain, not even nausea or anything like that. But uh, eventually, took a while because they were running behind, but I went into the operating room. All male nurses, too. There were no women. There were women in the pre-op, but there were all male nurses in the operating room. And they were all very nice. Um, one of them kept his hand over my hand while they were um, putting the IV anesthesia in and putting the oxygen mask on me. and. It was very nice, um, and of course, the minute you close your eyes, you can't open them back up in there, and the next thing I knew, I was in the recovery room, and the pain was gone. So, I'm very grateful for that, or I think the catheter was infected. They never did come back and say exactly, though, but I, I think that's what happened. Um, so yeah, everything went well on that front, and I did uh, my first round of hemodialysis yesterday, went to a clinic and had it done, and that went pretty well. I only left a little lightheaded. Cecily, my sister, was out of town. She's in Utah um, for a wedding, and she was also able to see two of my brothers who live there, and they got to go to a showing of um, Jurassic World, the new Jurassic Park movie. And they took a they took a selfie of the three of them. They took a picture of them in, sitting and waiting for the movie to start. And so I took a picture of me sitting in my chair getting my dialysis done. Um, it was pretty funny. But um, while I was doing dialysis yesterday, I made a pros and cons list of both hemo and peritoneal dialysis. And I actually was surprised at what uh, what it came up with. Um, you see, here's the, I don't know how much you can see, there's the hemo list, and there's the PD or peritoneal dialysis list. And you notice that the cons on the PD list are a lot longer, a lot more than the pros. It took me a year to learn that, I guess. So, um, at hemo, the pros, it's, it's not every day, which is good. It's four hours, three days a week, but it's not every day. And PD is. PD is every day. And my belly isn't full anymore. I can actually be the size that I'm supposed to be in clothes and stuff without my belly sticking out. 
because it has fluid in it, and that's good. I sleep a lot better, um, because there's no discomfort, no nothing, it's just me. Even though I can't really sleep on my stomach with this, um, or my side right now, I have, I have a hard time sleeping on my side, but I'll be able to after it heals a little more. Yeah, no catheter in my belly, and so I don't have to deal with that, stuffing that in my pants all the time. I have it taped up and the tape really irritates me. All medical tape does, it's just how I am. I have a hard time keeping from itching this, from scratching this. And the labs, uh, for PD I always had to take, I always had to go back to the clinic, take my labs, they would draw blood, and just my monthly labs to get my readings, make sure um, nothing is like potassium or phosphorus isn't too high, calcium isn't too high, because um, if it is too high, it could be dangerous for me. Um, but when I'm at hemo, they take the labs right there, because I'm already hooked up with my blood, so they just take some blood there through these tubes and, and submit it to the lab right there, so I don't have to make a separate appointment, which is nice. And my appetite is a whole lot better, because when you're full of fluid in your body, I mean, your stomach, it doesn't, I mean, you do absorb some of that sugar, some of that water in there. Um, and so it can give you a false sense of being full all the time. Like, I never felt hungry. I didn't even crave anything. Anything. And it was just rough. Mom was really, was really frustrated. Was really frustrated feeding me because she wanted to make sure I eat. I ate, but I couldn't eat a whole lot. Uh, I think I named most of the cons already for hemo. It's not at home. That's one bad thing. I have to go to the clinic. It is four hours for those three days. And that's the chest port I have to deal with, which makes me itch. And I can't shower. I have to kind of sponge bath. Um, today I couldn't shower, but I tried to clean myself up as best I could. I had to have the bandage still here, and so I can't get it wet or this wet. I just kind of sponged, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, the sleeping positions. It kind of still hurts when I try to sleep on my side, so it kind of restricts me for right now. Peritoneal. I'll just go with the cons on this, because there aren't very many pros now that I look at it. I've done it for over a year, and I couldn't. I just can't believe it. I had to do it four times a day. Every day. And like, from setup to taking it down, it would probably be about an hour each time. So it's an hour four times a day every day. All the extra supplies that I have to have that takes up space in my room and in the house. They deliver supplies every month for it, those bags of fluid. Um, I'm full all the time and my stomach pokes out and I'm not hungry, as I already said. It also made me have to poop a lot. I know nobody wants to see hear that, but it did. And that was annoying. Um, Higher chance for infection, obviously, as we've already witnessed. Um, my sleep schedule is just horrible on it. I, yeah, it's just was bad. And as I already explained, the labs, I have to go to the clinic for the labs an extra day to go to the clinic instead of being able to take them here, have them already take them when I'm getting treated. I can take a shower um, with it, with the catheter. I can't with this but I could take a shower with that. Um, there's no blood and the port is hidden, like, I mean, you can see this over and outside my clothes. I get some, sometimes little kids asking about what, what it is, and I probably will if I see my nieces and nephews within the next few months. Um, and it is at home, that is a pro. It's just a lot better. I feel so much better. I couldn't believe how much better I felt even when I got home from the hospital on Friday. It was about 8.30 at night and I and mom and dad were waiting on me hand and foot and I was like, I'm fine guys, I'm totally fine. And I was just walking around and originally, I originally arranged to pick up Cecily from the airport today because she's coming home this evening, but um, mom don't, does not want to let me drive, so <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here and rest and uh, tomorrow I need to find out what my hemodialysis schedule will be at um, the clinic, so I know which day I can go. Um, it'll either be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or 
Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which I would prefer Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But um, I think a lot of people prefer that, so I don't know if I'll be able to get in. Yeah, my days are a lot freer, too. I don't have to stop everything and do a do an exchange, a drain, and a fill. And, uh, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. So thank you, everybody, for, for your prayers and your support for when I went into the hospital on Friday. I'm very grateful. Um, and I think that's it.